guys, welcome back to Jess Claire Creates. Today I am creating a page in my Traveller's Notebook and it is using the Ali Edwards Lost and Found kit. So I'm backing one of the pages with some paper, some pattern paper. I'm, I, I don't really remember what, what the brand is but it's kind of stripes of um, different colours. So I'm kind of going for one side of it is going to be quite busy and heavily embellished and I want to keep the left side mostly plain so that I can add quite a lot of journaling. So this is this month's Ellie Edwards kit and I have a dish of all the embellishments and different pieces and I've cut out this hexagon from one of the um, cards, one of the Project Life cards that says we have what we seek, it is there all the time and if we give it time it will make itself known to us. So I've printed off a couple of photos from a day out that I had with my little boy and I've got one that is 3 by 4 and two that are smaller than that so uh, 3 by 2.5 maybe <laughs> but actually I've cut the one down that's got my face on it I've cut that down so that it's square um, and I'm adding on some of the pieces that I've got in the kit so I've got this um, acetate word that says discover one of the circles um, that says learning living and I've cut that in half because that's going in behind my photo um, I've got a puffy sticker they will one of the add-ons this month and that says wonder and I'm also adding on a DIY embellishment that I've made that has a studio calico word strip on that says never stop exploring um, and I'm adding one of the little cork geotags so everything I'm pretty much sticking everything down with double-sided tape except for the geotag and the discover piece which I've just used some glue dots on and I'm quite pleased with how hidden the glue dots are on that acetate piece. So on the other side I've just done a doodly board around the edge just to kind of tie everything in and I've left, I've only done it on the three sides because I've left the inside edge um, blank because I didn't want it, I didn't want to close the journaling off from the other side of the page so I've left it open so that it kind of links to the right hand page where I've got my my larger photo and the embellishments. I've also added on a chipboard piece that says the path of life from this month's chipboard kit and I'm just doing my journaling which is about how having this kit has encouraged me to think a little bit differently about being lost and getting out of my routine and my comfort zone and going out on a little adventure with my boy and how it's okay to get lost every so often even if it's just a little bit lost. So I'm adding on another one of these Studio Calico fray strips and it says all we can do is our best to relish this remarkable ride. Um, and I am also going to add on another one which is one of the Ali Edwards ones that says I can do this. So I really like how all these pieces have worked in a traveller's notebook. Let me know if you've ever used Ali Edwards products in a traveller's notebook because I'd love to see it. So do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks for watching.